the Whack Hip Hop Show. We lit right now. I'm the news, your homeboy, Juvenile Manny Freshly back at it again. This time, if you didn't know, everybody trying to get vaccinated and all this other stuff, but here they come. Remember, Juvenile had the song, Back That Thing Up. Now he's coming up with Vax That Thing Up, and I do not approve of that shit. Now, a lot of people don't got the vaccine, but you know, remember, it's not an FDA approved, man. You got a whole bunch of stuff out there. They keep forcing you to get it. And they talking about police is going to be coming by your door and seeing if you got it. But juvenile them went along with it. I don't know if they vaccinated, but hey, but hey, man. It is what it is, baby. It's the war of the world. You got to watch out, baby. They saying everybody need to get vaccinated. I ain't getting fucking vaccinated. I got to be held down to get that shit. I don't know about you, player. But, you know, there's a lot of deaths that have been going on for people getting vaccinated. A lot of uh, reactions that's fucking people up. But I don't know, baby. You got to judge for yourself. You got to do what you got to do. But I don't know what to tell y'all out there. But don't vax that thing up. If you did already, too late, play. I guess... Also gotta give a shout out to the homeboy DJ Drewski, that's very hot 97 representing Jersey representative, putting it down for the independent artists all the time. And you can't be mad at that. So go follow and support that brother just like we do. Keep doing your thing, DJ Drewski. Ain't no catch your back. Yeah. You need me and I need you. Love and us is very special. We lit right now. In other news, your homeboy Bill Cosby is back at it again. This time, if you didn't know, he was out of jail because they had some people overturn everything he said, so he was let free, baby. Now he's talking about he's going to do a comedy tour. He's going to do a documentary of his whole life. And he's trying to do a whole bunch of shit banger bang together. Now, you know, a lot of people ain't going to be down with that. A lot of people love Bill Cosby. He gave a lot of money to the black colleges. He was doing a whole lot of good shit. But he still got a lot of bad shit hot in those closets. But uh, I don't know what to tell you, baby. Personally, you know what I mean? I don't think Bill did that one, but he probably did some of them other shit. I don't give a fuck what he said. Anytime you give a motherfucker pills just to have sex with you, I don't know about that shit, Bill. You know what I mean? You a star. They automatically should be trying to give it to you. You shouldn't have to be drugging motherfuckers, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Nevertheless, I digress. Bill Cosby got a whole shit banger banger shit he trying to do, but I don't know, man. I don't know if Bill can relate to these new age people, but we'll see, nigga. We'll see. We lit right now. We lit right now. New to Disney Plus Us. Church a little now. I caught it bad just today. Hello. Yo, what's going on, man? Hi. I'm from the church of the LGBT community. And we're mm. here to invite you to come to our church. Because Jesus and God loves you. He loves me. He loves you. In the words of the great philosopher Pootie Tay, I got to say that they know my brother. Nah, I don't think I'm coming to your church. Now, I ain't got nothing to guess what you brothers do, you know what I mean? What you do, you know what I mean? What you eat don't make me shit play. I don't got nothing wrong with that. But uh, last time I checked from what I heard, I thought Jesus didn't like homosexuals. Not the new Jesus. This is a new day. And according to Little Nas and everybody else, you better get on the right page. Look here, player. I ain't got nothing against what y'all got going on. You know what I mean? Ain't my type of party. You know, in the words of uh, Kid and Play, ain't my type of hype, baby. Ain't my type of hype. Oh, oh. Tell me, player. Ever since President Obama put it in the law, you got to fucking respect me, nigga. You got to. No more hate crime. None of that. Here I am, see me, love me. Now look here, player. Like I said before, 
I ain't got nothing against what y'all do. You know what I mean? That's what y'all want to do. That's what y'all want to do. Me, I'm going to do something different. You know what I mean? Now, nevertheless, I don't give a fuck what Lil Nas talk about. This nigga riding the devil dick. He doing backflips. This nigga dancing in the shower with niggas. Hey, man, that's what he want to do in his life, baby. You do what you want to do. And you, you know, Nas do what he want to do. You do what you want to do. And it don't matter, baby. We can all live in harmony. But, nigga, I'm not coming to the church. That's all I'm saying. Nigga, I'll fuck you up. You coming to our church or not? We lit right now. Also gotta give a shout out to the homeboy, the real DJ shot. That's right, Jersey representative. Definitely putting it down. Hot 97 alumni doing this thing. Still hitting the parties up. Still maintaining and killing them out here. So go follow and support that brother just like we do. Keep doing your thing. Real DJ shot. And you know what you Other news, your homeboy Drake is back at it again. This time, if you didn't know, he wound up taking out Joanne and Leah. That's why her son is in a, you know, college basketball. You know, you might have supported Drake and Michael B. Um, B Jordan at the basketball game. And now, all of a sudden, you know, Drake wound up pulling a big boss move, wound up taking out the dinner at the Dodger Stadium. You know, he wound up written it out, putting the uh, table on third base. And, you know, paparazzi was there to take the hover pictures of him. And you know what? It is what it is, man. Drake is just a boss. He's doing whatever he want to do. Now, that's a big-time play, taking a woman out there, renting the whole stadium out. You know what I mean? It's the show of what's up. But what can you expect from Drake? You know, a lot of people doubt the brother. He out there doing his stuff, fizzle, still slaying them left and right. Dragon Slayer. That's what you need to call Drake. Dragon Slayer. Killing all the ladies out there. But nevertheless, Drake, you can never get away, baby. You know, cameras, paparazzi all over. But I see you, Playboy. I see you. We lit right now. Scoop B Radio. Scoop B Radio. Morris is wrong, like Quincy talking shit when niggas dead and gone, but you never know a nigga when you not around, that's when the true colors show, man, the tears of a clown, uh, program you, chrome handle, your brain scramble, they say I'm lit like incense and birthday candles, boy, I said life is hard, niggas trying to take mine, hit a nigga with the sham guard, but nowadays niggas don't care about shame, dudes and chicks grabbing their ankles just for fame, fake shit really on all time high now, tell America I wanna fuck my pie now, in the meantime, in between time, I'd rather kick it with a cool seven than a mean dime In these times, watch who you fuck with People that you think cool, they'll get you stuck quick Niggas switching sides like they got traded That's the problem that you never seen coming calculated Outdated, five star rated It don't matter, you can love it or hate it, come on it's Like cranes in the sky, nigga Trick Daddy's back at it again. This time, if you didn't know, he wound up going into a club and he wound up getting this chick in with a couple of her homegirls. But as soon as they got in, they left that motherfucker high and dry. And in true Miami fashion, Thug, Thug Nation fashion, you know what I mean? Trick, Doug, that Trick Daddy had to approach it. Said, what the fuck you was doing? You supposed to be with me. She was like, get the fuck off me. But... Come on, baby. Just because you get them in the club, don't think you're going to get some and they going to hang out with you. Come on, Trick. You know better than that. I I ain't got to tell you the rules, baby, but, you know, sometimes people be in their feelings, man. You know, just a couple of weeks ago, he was talking about he didn't think Jay-Z was one of the best rappers. You know, everybody entitled to their own opinion. He was talking about some shit about the Beyonce, you know, the Beehive got on him. And, hey, baby, it's been a bad, rough month for Trick Daddy. But, you know, he's still doing this thing in Miami, I guess. You know what I mean? He had a couple hits. You know what I mean? He was going through a whole lot of stuff, but... 
Hey, baby, you know the rules, baby. They belong to the street, so you can't get mad. Trick, come on, baby. We lit right now. What's going on? It's your homeboy, Kaz, all ball from the Wack Hip Hop Show. And I got my homegirl, Diane Morton Gatulo, author of This Life of Hours, also known as one of Big Angie's, one of her many best friends in the circle of friends. You know what I mean? Right here in Staten Island. Talk to you, Diane. Hey, how are you? Welcome. And I'm so glad that you're here and you're hanging out with me. And my book is called This Life of Ours, Fairy Tales of Mob Bartenders. Need I say more? And it's available on Amazon. Read it, share it, and write a review. Thank you. That's right. We lit right now. Put your head on my shoulder. We lit right now.